Hello and welcome to my weekly pre-order video where I look at uh, upcoming releases from Games Workshop, talk about what's been released, uh, what's just been released this weekend and uh, guide you through it. But firstly, before I talk about the Games Workshop uh, releases, let's talk about Forgeworld. Uh, Forgeworld owned by Games Workshop. At the Forgeworld Open Day event tomorrow on Sunday the 13th of August, Forgeworld have already released an image of all their new products that will be available. With these Open Days and the Warhammer Fest, things like that, that Games Workshop run, you do have a chance of buying uh, their products um, early. Uh, often a month or, or so early uh, before general sort of public release. As you can see, the biggest thing that strikes my eye is the Legio Custodes Orion Assault dropship. Um, I'll just zoom in slightly on that now. Um, unfortunately, it's £275. don't know how big it's going to be. I don't think that image is to scale compared to the tanks or the troops or anything like that. Um, so for me it's more of a it's more of a case that I'm gonna look at how big the model is, look at the detail on there um, and have a really long decision about um, whether I should get one for the force or not. Um, I already have a Thunderhawk and a Stormbird and I'm incredibly happy and pleased with both those models um, from a building perspective uh, and a designs perspective, I couldn't ask any more for them, uh, the Thunderhawk especially. But £275 is pushing it in the realms of almost a Mastodon, and I'm a big fan of that Mastodon model, uh, the fact that you can remove the, the top of the hull and things like that. If this is just going to be a model similar to the Coronus uh, Grav Carrier, which is bigger than a Land Raider and, and a decent model, um, where it's just going to be uh, the drop ship, um, with with a one door that opens at the back it's got the smooth lines and the turrets on the side of it that move slightly personally already i don't think it's going to be worth that amount of money and um, for that amount of money we're, we're also approaching we're approaching a, a warhound titan you know you're approaching a porphyrion you know it's quite expensive and i wasn't actually thinking it would be this much and um, i was looking in the realms of 180 or maybe 200 at tops so this extra sort of 75 or 100 pounds more than I was expecting is a bit out of the blue for me but of course I'll be looking at the model uh, in detail at the show taking pictures and taking videos and things like that then you've got on the right you've got the two tanks there you've got the Legion Sakaran Arcus strike tank which is 79 pounds and that actually became available for pre-order uh, last weekend I think it's released this weekend I didn't get that I know I don't many play many games but the rules uh, for the 40k especially didn't seem that good. 24 inch, not incredible, but in the Horus Heresy, the, the ranges for the um, missile launcher were all over the place. Everything from 24 inch to 48. Um, loads of different weapon profiles to remember and think about. Had a cool uh, missile type that really effective against cybernetica units and I think... Um, it gave them instant death, uh, so that's pretty decent. So yeah, if you're into your, your Horus Heresy, uh, then it would be a great uh, vehicle for that. And then you've got the new Legion Sakaran Omega uh, tank, or Omega tank, however you want to pronounce that. That's £82, so that's £3 more, but it does have these big sort of Tau-esque railgun type plasma um, exterminators, or, you know, um, plasma weapons on the top. I'd be very interested to see uh, what the rules are for those plasma weapons um, both from 40k and uh, 30k perspective hopefully they'll have the rules there uh, available um, to, to look at then you've got the Sisters of Silence Prosecutor Cadre upgrade set I won't be dealing with that it's, uh, it's I think £12 um, for a load of bolt pistols and things like that so I don't think I'll be opting for that then you've got the Legio Custodes Aquilin Terminators Pricey, um, £49 for three models. Um, unfortunately, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty pricey. Uh, I think you can get five Emperor's Children Terminators for about £49. I know my Tartarus, um, I don't think my Tartarus uh, Terminators were that much. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more detail on these custodies. Um, and I love how one person's comment was that they're armed with hair dryers because of the heat effect on their Adrathic, uh, uh, the assault Adrathic destructors, I think they are. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. But uh, for me, I've always wanted to get um, Custodes uh, Quillen Terminators, so they're 
pretty much a must buy out of all of these that you can see here. Then we've got the Thousand Suns Legion Praetor, £25, I'd say reasonable priced. It looks like he's got a lot of detail there. Um, and yeah, if you're a Thousand Suns player, um, I'd be very jealous if you picked up that model because um, it looks pretty dope. Uh, then you've got the Legio Custodes uh, Aquilin Terminators with Infernus Fire Pikes. Um, strength 6 sort of flamers. The gauntlets are okay too. Not the best, uh, but they're equipped for sort of close combat. I mean, they look really cool, but for me, I'm leaning more towards the Aquilin Terminators. Why 3, you ask, and not 5? Well, that's just what Custodes have. They just have 3 of these Terminators. And I think that's because they have three wounds each. Uh, but yeah, you can have them in squads of three or six. So that's why there's there's only three of them. Um, think of them a little bit similar to sort of Grey Knights. Um, and then you've got a Rogue Idol, £65. But they've done a stunning paint job on that Rogue I Idol. Um, if I was into Age of Sigma, I'd probably be picking that one up because that, that's great. I love the base too. Hobbit, you've got Bard, the Bowman's family. Uh, looks like £15. Then Blood Bowl, you've got a Blood Bowl Minotaur for £20. And then you've got a load of uh, coins and tokens. I think they're actually up for uh, pre-order this weekend um, today. Then you've got a Primaris mug. And you've also got a Nurgle Death Guard uh, mug, um, both £10 each. That's how much I paid for my Custodes um, mug. And it hasn't shipped or whatever. I put it in the dishwasher. Absolutely fine. So, yeah, the, the mug's... Um, <laughs> have a seal of approval I suppose. So yeah that's just a quick look at the um, new products available tomorrow at the Forge World Open Day. I'll be recording the event so you'll see firsthand uh, those models in the flesh and also I'll be taking pictures and videos of any sort of seminars that they have uh, where they're going to show if they're going to show any any new models coming up over the next few months. I think the Warhammer Fest three months ago um, they showed pictures of Terminators and a little sort of sneak peek of the Orion assault drop ship and definitely the Sakaran tanks. Hopefully they'll have some better shots of uh, Constantin Valdor, the Emperor's right hand I suppose, um, but we'll see. Anyway, on with the video. So what was released this weekend uh, was the Primaris Intercessors uh, and the Primaris Hellblaster uh, box sets, they're £35 each. Already uh, on, on their page here, you can see that they've got the Primaris Inceptors. Uh, I do find it odd that they've released all the, you know, like their Repulsor Tank and the Dreadnought first. It's different to other releases where normally they'd release the HQs and the troops and, and things like that at the start. I was actually expecting the Captain in Gravis armor to be a separate model and I, I was expecting him to be first along with the Intercessors and the Hellblasters followed by these guys and then later on you sort of have to wait for the good stuff uh, like the Repulsor Tank last or the Dreadnought last or, or something like that. For whatever reason they've released those um, uh, first so straight away we've got the inceptors here click on new and exclusive and click on the new releases first of all so this has all been released sort of today or past couple of weeks past three weeks now look and um, so today we had the intercessors and the hellblasters uh, I think also the grey knights codex and the chaos space marine codex came out um, this weekend too uh, don't let that fool you though they are actually um, £25. I think I'll just do a view all and I'll do from high to low. Here we go. So uh, they've got a Dark Imperium Essentials collection. Uh, so you get the, the box set and some paints and tools and glue and things. Then they're releasing these uh, these sets of tanks. Uh, you've got a Vindicator set and a Predator set. They're the same price as if you bought those tanks separately guys. So um, and those tanks are now pushing, I'd probably say, almost 20 years old now, those tanks. Um, well, the Vindicator came out, I think, about nine years ago. Uh, I, I definitely came out 2008, I know that much, because I bought one and I remember. Uh, for some reason, this is out of stock. Whirlwinds, they've been having a few issues anyway, with them be being out of stock. Uh, the Repulsor came out last weekend. Uh, Redemptor, I think, came out the weekend before that. Um, so here we go. New for this week, we've got the Hellblasters, the 
there we go. Chaos Space Marine and Grey Knights. Um, codexes are twenty-five pounds. They're hardback. Uh, I don't have them, um, but I'm sure there are other videos out there. Also, two weekends ago, you had the Aggressors. Um, I think they came out when the Dreadnought did. But this weekend, you got the Hell Blasters and the Intercessors and those two Codexes. The Reavers came out, I think, two weekends ago. I think the Reavers came out when the Dreadnought came out too. So you got the Reavers, the Aggressors, and the Dreadnought all one week. And then the Repulsor, uh, the Apothecary, and the Chaplain came out the weekend after. And then this weekend, we've got the Intercessors and the Hell Blasters. Next weekend, we've got the Inceptors. And we'll talk about those in a moment. Look, there we go. There's the Apothecary and the Chaplain. And so on. And some dice. And there we go. So let's whiz up to the pre-orders. We'll get rid of new releases. Hopefully this should work. Um, so pre-orders, you've got the Space Marine Primaris Collection. We'll just have a look at that. So £345, not the best picture in the world, because uh, a few units are sort of hidden. Um, but luckily, it does actually let you know what you get on the left-hand side. So here, it looks like you get... So for 41 Space Marines, the Repulsor Tank and a Dreadnought, it will set you back £345. It's a heck of a lot of money for sort of 40-odd Space Marines. If you want to buy all of them, uh, you'll obviously still need to get that £35 codex. If you want to get all of them, that is what you're going to have to pay. So with the codex as well, that's going to be £380. You're almost pushing sort of £400 um, for the 41 uh, Space Marines and the, the Dreadnought and the tank. Um, quite a lot of money. I think it probably costs you the same if you bought them individually. Uh, so they're also doing the same with the Chaos tanks now. Same price as if you bought them individually. Uh, the Basin Materials Collection. Now these look interesting. We'll have a look at those in a moment. But um, for the Primaris, uh, what they've done is they've now incorporated the cards and the dice that I wondered what they look like um, into one set for £52.50 the Inceptors for three are £30 so it's almost sort of £10 a Space Marine um, with the bigger sort of jump pack and the two guns um, with these you can make the ones with the the Assault Bolters or the Plasma Exterminators um, completely up to you uh, the Assault Bolters have, uh, I think, three shots each, I think. Um, and the Exterminators have, I think, D3. So, um, I mean, this is a the thing. There's no reason why you have to give them those shield armor. I mean, they're already wearing helmets. So, it's up it's up to you. I think that's all optional. Um, I've pre-ordered them. So, I'm hoping they'll come next weekend on Saturday. Uh, so, I can give you a, an unboxing and review of them. Uh, I'll try and do the review within the same day too, if I can, um, because that's the only thing I'll, I'll be getting next weekend. So that's that, and then also for pre-order is the Ultramarines Primaris Full Squad Upgrades. £20. Um, a lot of money for... It says you can upgrade a full 10-man squad uh, of Hellblasters or Intercessors um, with sort of Ultramarine-specific... Uh, shoulder pauldrons and things like that and swords I mean you look at that sword it's got a, a U for ultramar on there or ultramarines um, it's got the little U on the, the heads on the helmets I mean it's up to you if you collect ultramarines this must might be a must must buy it just allows you to customize your your space marines I think 20 pound is a lot of money uh, I think £10 would be more sort of reasonable, you know, because for £20, you're only, what, like £5 off a full squad of 10 normal Space Marines. But, you know, people do it with shoulder pauldrons for uh, Horus Heresy um, Space Marines. So if you like to do that and you like to modify your uh, Primaris to be to have that heraldry and insignia of the Ultramarines, then, hey, that's good that Games Workshop are giving you the choice. You don't have to do that. I would have thought that with the Primaris, they cost more money and more points, more power, things like that, uh, more wounds. So in one way, one would assume you'd actually have less of them. So this sort of makes makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's still still quite pricey. And then let's have a look at this uh, these basing um, materials. So we'll have a look at the Barb Bracken. So £15. Very intrigued with this. So what do you get? 
Looks like you get a load of this bracken stuff. It says it's incredibly detailed. I think it's just plastic. Yeah, just a plastic sprue. Um, and what you do is you just obviously glue it through the plastic glue onto your base. Uh, and then paint it or, or even spray it and paint it separately. Probably be easy to do that. Um, but it comes with 144 pieces of bracken. It doesn't say how many sprues, but that I don't think that's 144 there. It might it might be two or three sprues, but it says here 48 large pieces, 32 medium pieces, and 64 small pieces. So to me, that seems like that's all you'll ever need um, to base quite quite a few miniatures. Depends, obviously, how much you, you put on them, but there we go. And then the Creeping Vines, same price, £15. Uh, this one comes with 12 Creeping Vines. It looks like there's three there, so one would assume there's four sprues. Hmm, not too bad. Um, that's probably more for... Well, it looks like you can put them on, on bases as opposed to just up the side of buildings and things, but uh, there you go, that's those. And then, a final thing is skulls. You get lots and lots of skulls. They're all on the sprues. Um, there are 340 skulls on this. And there are 20 extra jaw bones. Here's the breakdown of the number of skulls. So 340, 82 humans, 86 humans without jaw bones, 15 human jaw bones, 60 assorted damaged human skulls, 2 giant skulls, one more guy. Oh my god. It just carries on and carries on. Uh, Ort Skulls, Gene Stealer, Crew, Tau, Blood Letter, Plague Bearer, Chaos Beast. Um, lots and lots of different races uh, for the jawbones there. So you get a huge range. Um, look, they're the human, jawless, and, and all the rest. Uh, if you like skulls or you want to put more skulls on your bases um, this is the set for you. I mean, yeah, look, look how they've done it there. They put a large skull and then you've just incorporate lots of different schools and just pile them up because you get 340 of them. Uh, so yeah, if you want more schools on your models or your vehicles, um, good little kit to have. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I think there's also this uh, Path of Heaven has come out on paperback, eight pound, and King's Blade has come out on paperback too. I'm all for paperbacks of these versions because although I prefer uh, paperback to read and to put on the shelf and to keep. I also prefer a paperback to carry around with me and just for sort of value for money, put it that way. Um, so they've got pros and cons, haven't they? Um, so that's all the pre-orders. Uh, the things we haven't really seen uh, yet, which have, I, I better talk about it anyway, because there's been um, videos and things like that out, um, is this uh, Connor, uh, the news from Connor. So um, specifically, we've had a, a better sort of image, uh, I'll just turn it off, uh, image or um, view of the, the new Death Guard models. You can see them here. So you've got the, um, is it Typhon? I'm not 100% sure if it is Typhon, um, but at least you get a good image of, of the, the Death Shroud, or yeah, Death Guard Terminators anyway. Um, and this looks like some kind of accountant maybe <laughs> um, or logistics advisor and they're just having a chat and then you, you carry on going and then eventually you get a nice good good image of well yeah not Duncan but if that actually works a little bit better you get a nice image of Mortarion and if we blow this up to full screen just like that you get a nice image of him that's highest quality, guys. Uh, of him on on like a rotating base. Yeah, I have to get rid of that recommended. It looks like there are three, one, two, three or or so, um, like fly drone type things. His scythe looks immense with the bones down it. Um, I like the the uh, the armor that he's wearing. Uh, I like how he is lifted up. Love his wings. Incredible. Um, his head and his mask, the, the image that was leaked from the White Dwarf, uh, I think it'll be um, uh, September's edition of White Dwarf, I think that looked very vibrant, the colours that they used and also the background. And I think the same thing happened with um, Rebute Gulliman. Uh, I think um, 
the first sort of pictures that we saw of, of him didn't really do him that much justice. Uh, and we didn't really have a picture of him with his helmet on either. Um, and I think that's the same for Mortarion. Um, he definitely has grown on me um, since the initial pictures and shaping up to be a really nice looking model. Uh, so there we go. Um, so yeah, plenty of Death Guard to come in September as they've teased. Uh, and along with them, you've got some you've got some more Pox Walkers. You'll have uh, the Death Guard Terminators. You'll have Blight Drone separately. You'll have a new type of tank, like an artillery type of tank. Um, so yeah, plenty of uh, things coming Death Guard way in September. Should be another great month um, for the hobby. Anyway, I'd like to hear what you're looking forward to uh, in the releases. Put it in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.